The important thing about tricep particles is it's considered what's called a functional containment. When you look at a large commercial reactor, normally you drive by on the road and you see a fence that's a long way from the reactor. Now in these reactors, the site boundary can be closer because the amount of activity that you would release during a severe accident is much lower. A typical light water reactor, there's 90 or so operating around the U.S. Severe accidents for those can be bad. We know about Fukushima. The reactors that use triso fuel are really incapable, as a function of their design, of having an accident like that. Once finally, you have triso particles, and they're ready to go into their final fuel form. You can make simple shapes like that. You can also make shapes like this. So you could put triso particles in here and, and make a very complex fuel element. So if you've seen the triso particles, it's just a big jar of very, very tiny, loose particles. So you have to make a fuel form out of that, right? And there's a couple of different methods to use traditionally.